Yeah, drawn here. We're out with the uh, semi. We got a uh, firefly on it, and uh, we're just gonna give this a little fly. I'm out in an area where nobody's really been, but uh, kind of wanted to fly, so we are going to just go ahead and start our camera here. Let's see. That one. There we go. We're recording. We are dealing with wind, so we're just gonna put that there. I'm gonna put my gloves on that way I don't freeze. And Hat Camp says low power. I attribute that 100% to uh, this cold. Because this battery was just freshly charged. Fire the motors. Alright guys, so Hat Cam is the main part. And then we have the camera on board, which is uh, down in the right corner there that we are going to be recording. You can see a little bit of a difference, but uh, you also have to realize that the uh, camera on board is... Um, constantly moving I'm not really moving so my hat cam has had a little bit of time to adjust to uh, the climate out here and if you noticed in the beginning we had a really purpley tinge to it um, I don't really suggest you taking uh, your, your good uh, your good uh, recording devices out in brutal weather because uh, it does affect it there you can see the GPS is working properly no hands up in the air and it was just sitting there uh, the SM is a really nice drone it really is uh, you do have to do pre-flights, which you'll hear me preach on and on just about every video. I preach pre-flight, pre-flight, and uh, what's pre-flight? Well, make sure everything's in order before you fly. Make sure you calibrate, make sure all your screws are tight. Make sure the drone is ready for flight. Uh, we are dealing with a 10 mile an hour wind, and again, it is brutally cold. As you can see, it's kind of pitching that way against the wind, uh, against the GPS. Uh, not against the GPS. GPS is trying holding, hold, and it's trying to pitch against the wind to maintain position. Just gonna slowly bring it over here. All right, so hat cam volume cut out and just finally shut off on its own. So the rest of this is gonna be from uh, it's gonna be from the drone's camera. And as you can see, kind of go over here. And I did end up turning my hat cam back on just to get a close view of this drone in flight. As you can see, it's these cameras are having. Not an extreme hard time, but see the sun back there? It's like really, really bright. And then all the white light contrast that's going around here gives the action cams a little bit of a difficult time. As you can see, as I'm getting close to it, it's kind of focusing in. And again, right here, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to get a good shot of it for Drone Days. If you don't know what Drone Days is, it's one of the best groups on Facebook. Um, just to uh, Just to post a picture or post a video on Drone Days. If you want the link for that, it'll be down below. But all right, we're going to go ahead and give this a little fly here. The Alsema is a great drone if you know how to fly, if you know how to calibrate it, if you get a good one. Um, I no longer sell these. I do have uh, parts ones that are, that have not made the cut to be uh, passed into the the selling mill, so to speak. So I do have parts ones that I, I probably will be selling. But as far as me selling these, it's been a year, year and a half. I'm done selling them. I'm not getting any more of them in. Um, I've shot my foot on a couple times. Uh people crashed them and then I, I refunded money and it, it's 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 been a hassle uh i mean not a horrible hassle because I, i'd say about 90 percent of everything that i've gotten rid of everybody's had great success with uh but there is that 10 percent, and i'm not a rich person so uh to keep uh shooting myself in the foot about 10 percent of the time like i sold a couple on ebay to people who didn't know how to fly them and of course ebay uh, went with them and i got broken drones back definitely not in the condition that i sold them but uh here, here's here's a good look at the area that i'm dealing with we have a lot of snow that we got we probably got uh it was up to my calf so maybe uh maybe close to a little less than a foot of snow we got and there's the abyss that's the that's a little divot in the earth that I kind of did uh, the run with the the spark in the other day. Kind of ran right down it and then went over the town and whatnot. But uh, I just really wanted to spread the wings on this drone and give it a nice fly around. But all right, guys, I'm going to see if we can pipe in some music. And uh, if I decide not to pipe in music, maybe we'll just pipe in the sound effect to the motors and uh, the wind. That way you could hear actually how windy it is. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, if you're going to fly, fly safe. If you're going to fly out in cold, make sure you don't have exposed skin. Otherwise, you might be uh, get, getting a little frostbitten, and you don't want that to happen. But uh, all right, guys, take care, and uh, have fun out there. Later.
guys, so that was song one. <laughs> um, this was a long flight, despite the cold. Uh, I actually saw close to a 10-minute flight on this. If you stick with me till the end, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and pipe in another song. That was a little look at the small town that I live in. And, uh, again, just more look at the flyability of this drone. And, again, it's freezing weather out with a 10-mile-an-hour wind. So this thing is performing awesomely. You do need to do your pre-flight checks on this. Make sure your motor screws are tight. Um, and then go over all the other screws. Make sure it's calibrated properly. And then you can actually enjoy the drone. I enjoy this drone.